No state along the nation's coast deals with more shark encounters than Florida. And fishermen there are saying the waters are just getting too crowded with them. Now, in an effort to control the area's bull shark population, local anglers are hosting a shark hunting competition. But not everyone's taking the bait. Nearly 120,000 people have signed a petition to get that tournament canceled. Activists drawing comparisons to trophy hunting, calling it this event cruel. Biological sciences professor at Florida Atlantic University, Stephen Kajura, joins us now. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. So let's talk about the original post. It said, quote, finally, we can do something about this problem. It also says NOAA and marine biologists will be on site to, quote, study and take reports of the shark problem. So, Professor, what is the shark problem that these organizers are referring to? Yeah, what the fishermen are referring to is the fact that they have been having a hard time landing their target species. So if they're out there fishing for like a snapper, for example, they're reeling up to the boat, they find that often sharks will come up and take that fish right from their line before they're able to land it. And so that's the concern that they have. They're trying to reduce the shark numbers so that they're able to successfully fish for their target species. That's what they view as the so-called shark problem. Okay, so we know that critics of this event say that it's really going to be tough to enforce state and federal limits on how many shark competitors can hunt. They also claim the tournament will harm the ecosystem, but supporters say this is going to eliminate this growing problem. So which side, if either, is right here? I think one of the concerns is that there's a built-in assumption that if you reduce the number of sharks, it's going to reduce the number of uh, sharks that are taking your bait. But we don't know that. We're not convinced, or there's no evidence, let's put it that way, there's no evidence that reducing the number of bull sharks in one area will actually allow the fishermen to be more successful in landing their target species. It could very well be that these uh, bull sharks are just transiting through the area and you might eliminate you know, a dozen or 20 or 50 sharks, but they could easily be replaced the next day by sharks you know, transiting from up north or farther south or something. So I don't think there's any evidence to suggest that reducing the numbers of sharks in this area will actually uh, make the problem go away for these fishermen. But what about any potential impact on the ecosystem? Is that is that a real concern? Yeah, so one of the problems is that a lot of these sharks are, are what are called top level predators. They're near the top of the food pyramid. And as a result, if you reduce the number of these top level predators, it could have these sort of cascading effects all throughout the whole ecosystem. And we're not even sure quite you know, what, what that could entail. And so I think the, the safer thing to do from a scientific perspective is to get some data, collect some information first to see whether reducing the shark population is actually going to accomplish the stated goals that these uh, fishermen want. Yeah, certainly strong arguments on both sides of this. And Professor Stephen Kujura, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.